This video we're going to show you how to connect your IP camera to your NVR from 123 CCTV. The first step is to download the config tool from our website. Here on my desktop I have it located on the left hand side. There's a zip file and then I extracted it into its folder. I'm now going to enter the folder and show you what's inside. It's going to be another folder perhaps, click on it and then double click on config tool. Now you'll see a program window that will show you what IP cameras or other devices are connected to your network. I'm going to locate the one where I need to change the IP address and double click on it. After I double click it's going to show a pop-up where it's going to ask you to connect to the camera with a username and password. You leave your username as admin and password as admin and the port has three quadruple seven. After a few seconds, it'll pop up with this IP address modification window. In here, under the IP address, you will assign it the new IP you want it to. In this case, we're actually going to try and change this to a 10.1.10. some other number. You can do this for every camera you have on your network so that its IP address scheme conforms to that of your network. So here, I'm changing it to 10.1.10. 10.185 because I already did a uh, ping and made sure that that IP address was available in the network. The gateway in this case is a 10.1.10.1. You can also find this from doing an IP config from a computer that's on the same network. And press OK. After a little while, it'll pop up with a window. Modify successfully. Now. If you notice, the 192.168.1.108 will disappear and it'll pop up as a 10.1.10.185 in this video. That shows me that my IP address on my camera was successfully modified. Now what we've done so far shows you how to actually change the IP address on your camera. That's only the first step in actually connecting your IP camera to your network. Now you need to connect your IP camera to your NVR so the NVR can get video from the IP camera and show it to you. This little, little config tool you'll find very helpful in configuring every single camera you have on your network. You want to plug one camera in, change its IP address like we did in here, and then proceed to the following step when we're going to start using the PSS software. We have PSS installed on our computer. You can find the icon for it on the desktop. In this case, it's on the left hand side. Since we have it running, we're going to go into the taskbar and maximize it by using the uh, icon there. Go into device list and then select the DVR by right clicking on it. Go to advanced device config and then load for the device configuration on there. Now, if you don't already have your NVR or hybrid NVR added in here, there's a different video will show you on how to do that. Once the device config is loaded up, you want to go into remote device and from this section you're going to actually uh, get an overview of what IP cameras are present on your network. From here we're going to select the IP camera that we want to add. In this case it shows you an Onveef listing for the same IP address. If it does that, please make sure you don't select that one. That's not what we want to use. So we're going to make sure we don't select that one. We select the one that it's listed as the 10.1.10.185 and we add it. Once you've added it on the bottom half of the screen the IP camera will show up as the next channel, in this case channel 18. Connection status to be connect, that, that's a good sign. Make sure it says connect there. That means the NVR is communicating to the IP camera. Now if you have a, a pan tilt zoom camera, as in this case this is a pan tilt zoom uh, IP camera, not just a fixed one. On the left hand side you'll see the pan tilt zoom section. Please click on that and in there from the drop down menu make sure the type is selected as remote. Here we select the channel as 18. That was the IP camera we added. PTZ type to be remote. It was already but we need to make sure. Press save to save all your changes and now we're going to pull up the IP camera in the PSS window. Let's scroll down to channel 18. That was the camera we added. Once you double click on it after uh, in any of the one quad quadrants you have selected the IP camera will pull up and you'll start seeing video as in this case. Now let's move the camera, make sure it's moving, click on PTZ direction, select a cursor and press on it and you can move it left and right. You can also zoom in and uh, also zoom out of course. So this just shows you an example of 
what's the uh, capability of a uh, 2 megapixel pan tilt zoom. In this case we're using a 20x uh, optical zoom. Um, just testing out to see if it actually is working. We're using the 3D directional targeting. Well, if you click on the center circle and the cursor and then draw a rectangle you can actually zoom in and see a certain portion of uh, the video all the way zoomed in. Now this test was actually and the setup was done using a uh, remote connection for, with TeamViewer where we were logged into a client's computer to set up the pan tilt zoom for them. So if you see a little pixelation in the video it's because of the TeamViewer it's not really because of the pan tilt zoom itself. Let's zoom out now on the camera. Well this concludes our tutorial on how to add your IP camera to your network and also add it to your NVR or hybrid NVR. We hope that you liked this video and if you found it helpful please do like it on YouTube and on Facebook and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel as well. Thank you for watching.